I've been born and raised in the spirit of exploration and pioneering, but also in the respect of the environment. When my grandfather made his first flight to the stratosphere, when my father reached the absolute bottom of the ocean in the Marianas Trench, and when he was drifting for one month in the Gulf Stream, it was always to better understand nature and find ways to protect it. I also wanted to make my own dreams come true. And in the beginning, I thought flying around the world in a balloon would be a goal in itself. Until I understood that it was just the first step to be able to fly in a much better relation with nature, not just pushed by the wind, but in an airplane with absolutely no fuel and zero pollution. This is how Solar Impulse was born. To make it clear, the goal of Solar Impulse is not to make a revolution in the air transport, but rather to make a revolution in the mindset of the people, the way people think in terms of renewable energies, energy saving and new clean technologies. The people now are depressed with the big problems, the climate change that seem insolvable. What people need now is solutions, hope, optimism. And this is what we want to bring with Solar Impulse. We want to show that clean techs can achieve the impossible. If an airplane can fly with no fuel, of course the same technologies can be used in our daily life for houses, for cars, for heating or cooling systems, for lighting, for everything. If our world was massively using the same technologies than the one we have in our Solar Impulse airplane, we could already today divide by two our consumption of fossil energies and produce half of the rest with renewable sources. But for this, we need political courage and pioneering spirit. This award is not only a fabulous encouragement for Audrey Borchberg and me, for our entire team, but also for all the people who work in this world to make a change in terms of energy saving and renewable energy. So I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of all of them.